Veio. Welcome to my shed. Fuck me, cut. This is what we have today. This is what we're working with, folks. This lovely piece of wood. You can tell it's wood, it's tarred, it's covered in bark, and I got it from a tree. We cut a tree, we cut a branch off a tree, and now we have this, off a segment of that branch. And you're wondering, what can you do with that? What can you do with that? Oh well, quite a few things, not a whole bunch, but quite a few. Now see the way that that kind of tapers? What does that remind you of? What does that remind you of there? It, that's right, an axe handle. An axe handle, when you got that little bit, that little overhang, it really stops your hand from losing grip. And that's quite important when making an axe handle. A real baby boy axe, this would be a little tiny axe with a little tiny head. It would be quite cute, and it might be good for a bit of sculpt, bit of sculpting. I only need a rasp to do this. Just this one tool. Oh my god, how long has that shit been out of fucking focus? God damn cunt. Fuck. Alright. No problem, folks. I've just forgot the cameras have focus. That's fucked. God damn cunt. Now this is what I have for you today, folks. Now I got this from a tree. It is pretty hard. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gum tree. But as you can see, it's got this nice little angle. What would that remind you of? What does that remind you of? Exactly. An axe can. Fuck. Fuck. God damn, I need to really just take a breath. Take a big breath. That's a rasp, I believe. It's called a bastard rasp because of the curve and the flat edge. Duh. Not 100% certain on that one. It's a good goddamn tool. Alright. It's a good tool. A bit of roadblock. And that often happens. And you have to be prepared for that. Now, I'm thinking that I can't just use the rasp on this. I need to use the chisels. The chisel. I need to use the chisels to remove the majority of this bark before I can really get down into rasping this bastard with the rasp bastard fire. We need this. A chisel. I built this mallet with my bare hands. So we just simply want to get it right on the groove of the bark. Okay. Tap. You see, you release the buff, and this is the point where I go. Little by little, you remove all the bark. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's really important. Now we'll rub them out, it works. Works a treat, and it's less loud. See the transition in the wood. Now, this wood's been dried a little bit, so it's a little bit hard, but a little bit of elbow grease, you get it in there pretty good. I need to tighten this bad boy up a little bit. At this point here, with this wood in particular, you can start rasping that, mate. Go if you like. Rasp that. It's this first layer of bark right here. That's what messes you up that rasp gets caught in the teeth, it's no fun for nobody. Now check this out. It just eats at it, just eats at it. You can really make whatever you want with this, this one tool. It leaves these deep scratches in there and in which case you need to use a finer grain rasp. But I don't own that, so... biggest thing about working in a shed is proper PPE. The difference between using proper PPE is all your fingers or none of them. And then you're just fucking stumped. I've seen it happen. When it comes to PPE is two of your most precious assets. That's your hands. Now I got these bowl work gloves for $5 at Bunnings. Now to be honest, I hate the look of them, but they're good gloves. I think they probably would have been at least 40 bucks. They're marked down for some reason, I'm not too certain, but it says Battle Cat. And that's pretty cool. And an essential thing when using power tools is earmuffs. These go around your ears and serve as a protection to sound waves. Sound waves can be so loud and so rich in decibels that they damage your ears. Now trust me, I have tinnitus. Two other really important things that you have on your body that you really don't want to lose are your eyeballs. 
We get a nice pair of shades, nice pair of safety goggles. Now, I like to wear stylish ones. That's completely up to you. If it's just you and your shed and you don't mind if you look good or not, just wear whatever you want. Here are some different examples of goggles, the types of glasses you can use. So fishnet glass, so it's not actually glass, it's actually fishnet. It's not actually glass, it's frame. So these are pretty shit to wear when you're angle grinding. The pieces of metal are small enough to get through there. And that about wraps it up for PPE. Apart from boots, you need to get some boots. I just can't be bothered panning the camera down. That can mean the difference between a severed hand or a severed limb. This fucking stumped. I've seen it happen. I'll tell you what folks, it's not pretty. Hello? I've got some great news. I just got off the phone with Centrelink and my payment's coming through. So we're going to have to cut this video short today. I'll be back tomorrow. I've got some things I need to go get now. And uh, I'll fucking see you later.